everybody. Well, I have a little bit of time before work, so I wanted to show you <clears throat> what I'm doing on my junk journal. But first I want to show you a couple of things I got at a thrift store um, Saturday. So as you know, I'm working on making a junk journal with this cover. Well, I decided that my inserts, I had other things to add to them, and they were just going to be too fat to do all four of these in this one. So I'm just going to expand these, divide it into four, like add the things I'm adding to it, um, and divide it into four, and that would be one. And then I just needed to find a book that was the same size as this book. So I did find one. This is a 1930 book cover. This one is perfect, exact size. And this one is a 1917 book. And there's a picture at the front. I think that's the only only one. Look at this. Popular copyright novels at moderate prices. <laughs> this is great. And there is one picture in here, but anyway, look at this book plate. So I'll be taking this apart, which will be super easy, and then I can have this one for myself, and then I'm going to sell this one when it's ready. And this is so cute. Um, I don't think I want to change the cover except maybe up here because this is really cute this draw this on the cover you know for a nature journal even here so i'll have to modify it a little bit differently but i do i really like it it's going to be perfect <clears throat> so that's one thing i also found this which i'm super excited about this book Putn putnam's handy map book now the cover is all bent and everything so there's not a lot you can do the insides basically fell out <laughs> just like that um i find it rather interesting that it had map on this part that it was made that way but i wanted the maps just look at this and the paper and um, already aged and so cool and I can there here's the string I can totally take it apart and add these for junk journals and such and ephemera it would make very cool ephemera and so I was going to look for the date here's the copyright 1920 population figures so you know it has to be um, right around that time frame but oh my goodness, I love it. It is so cool. So I'm super, super excited about this. Um, yeah, really excited about using this book. All right, um, the next thing I got <clears throat> to help with my junk journals is I got a packet of um, this bias single fold. So I've got some colors that'll be really pretty, four yards of each. So I was happy to find that. That'll be a good addition. I found this tablet for like two bucks of graph paper. And just look at it. It's just, um, it's kind of a, it's a thin paper. So it already has like the cool sound to it. And here's the, you know, it's three hole punched and everything, but look at it. Isn't this great? I love it. It's going to go perfect in journals. And I don't think I will tea stain it uh, for right now. The other thing I found is two containers. I was looking for something for my buttons and beads that I have. Um, and I found two containers for $2.00 each one so I'll just show you what I put I put the stuff in them I only got the containers but I put in all my um, my jump rings and some chains and charms and some beads all stuff um, all kinds of things that I can use in 
for decorating my journals. And then here are my buttons and other things, not just buttons. But I have a whole bunch of buttons. I have these things, um, all kinds of different types of stuff. Um, I also have the little brads. I have the pin, the head things for making your, you know, the loops for charms. Um, some of the hooks, the claws. Um, I have these from Tim Holtz, just different stuff. So this is these two things are really gonna come in handy as well. Anyway, so since I'm expanding my junk journals a little bit, I decided to um, work on some stuff. Now, I had already made one of these, and I showed that with Marjolaine Bastine. And um, and I had done folded in the music page like this, and I'll put a piece of ephemera or something on here, a die cut, so that it whatever you stick in here it wouldn't fall out. Well, I still had four more to do, and so four more of these calendars. So I practiced on one, which I'm this one will be in mine because I obviously needed help. <laughs> I practiced on it, so in. It's not as good. I didn't get this done correctly, so I can make adjustments. But I I pasted one of my tea dyed um, <clears throat> or vintage. Some aren't tea dyed. Some are just vintage sheets, music sheets, pages on here. And then I did for my pocket. I took another piece and I glued it on after I. Um, I distressed with ink and I folded down this lip and then I folded down the corner um, and that's how I decided I'm going to do it but I didn't do really good with my measuring here and I ended up with a little bit of a buckle but that's okay that'll be mine nobody, nobody else has to have that one so I thought okay I'm going to figure this out how to do these I have the pieces cut um, I have these already done inside and um, stained, but what I want to do is uh, do finish up one. So I went ahead and folded it, and I decided it would be to make sure it's right. You know, when I put it in, I'll probably go like this, and then it won't it won't get that buckle. Um, the other thing I'm working on is I took some more pages from Janet Marsh's book and <clears throat> picked what I liked, um, distressed it, and then I went ahead and did the same thing. It's a corner, it's a corner, um, little corner tuck down, and then you can, this is the pocket, and this will be inside there. So I have to distress all these. And then I just took these pieces like this just to put in and I'll distress the edges and they'll just go in. So other than that, I think if I add anything else, I'll add a piece of that ledger paper um, to the journals as well so that they have the ledger paper. So I think that would make a nice, so one, two, three, if I get them out, I'll remember to do it. Four pieces of ledger paper. And then um, it might be a good idea to also do, um, go ahead with this book. Look, at it's got different countries even. I mean, it's got the states, but it also has different countries. So I think that's really cool. But what I would have to do is, um, I kind of want to just use, I need to find, there, there's the, um, I just wanted to find the string. Because if I find the string, then I can get the pieces out. So you just want to do this very carefully so you don't pull holes. And then you have a page, and um, it's perfect. Just a little smaller, 
and I just I really like it. So I'm gonna add um, one sheet of this to my book. So just all you have to do is just carefully slip it off the string. So one, two. Oops, this felt like two. Okay, it's just thick. Three. It's really nice paper, by the way. And then I think that was all, or is there more? Let me see, I'm trying to be careful and make sure I don't damage anything. Cause I don't know if that's a separate piece. So I just, you know, when I take the book apart, it'll be different and I'll be super careful. But I want to, okay, here we go. Here's a piece. Just needed to find, there we go. This is really cool. This has, I kind of want this type though, because I want both color and um, wording on this. Kind of how. Ah, oh, these are so cool. All right. So one, two, three. I'm just kind of looking to have to decide which ones I want. I just want to be sure I have enough writing with the one I choose. This one. Okay. We'll just save that. But yeah, this book is going to be so perfect um, for this. Now I gotta find a place to store the pages of the insides of the books because I can totally use um, some of those. So each book will at least have two, um, two of these in it. And I don't even have to like distress these. This is, they're really perfect um, just the way they are. The only other thing um, I would do is cut down. Well, I want to cut down my... So yeah, I've got this one planned how to do that. So I have to distress it and put it in. I'll probably come back and add on to this video. So for this, I see I tore off too many. These are very thin pages. The other thing I'm going to be making, um, I'm going to be making some traveler's notebook journals as well. Um, junk journals, just insert, just a simple insert. I work with the traveler's notebook. My journaling is pretty much all done in traveler's notebooks. And I want to make some uh, for my friends. So... Um, that's one thing I'm thinking. I must, this must be the size right here. All right. And the, yeah, and then it's supposed to be five inches. So my inserts will be like this. It's really. I love it. And actually, I'm going to turn it this way because I actually think it's better to have that um, to have the lighter side on the outside and then have that darker on the inside. I don't know, just for writing. For, I don't know. It's probably just me. I just kind of like that better. So that's what I'm going to do. So there we go. So those will go in the books. So every insert I need of my four, which will be divided into, each one will be divided into two. So they will each get this and this and this, and they'll each get a map. So that's the additions. They're each going to get, um, one of these pocket things, 
plus one of these pictures, um, oops, one of these pockets, one of these, plus they're going to get one of these. So um, that's what each insert will have, and that insert will get divided. So there'll be different things in different ones. And that probably is going to make it um, plenty thick enough, I think. <clears throat> so that's what I'm going to be, that's what I'm working on. This weekend, I actually have a free weekend. I am going to be working on, I don't know, I'll probably work on this some, but I think I'm going to get the um, Traveler's Notebook junk journals going because they, um, some of those are gifts that I really need to get out, I want to get out. And also, I'm going to be having a giveaway soon on both uh, my YouTube channel and my Instagram channel. Um, I've already passed 2,000 uh, subscribers now on YouTube, so they'll, I'll be making one Traveler's Notebook insert junk journal um, to give away for that. And then I will be doing, I got these done, so I want to put the ones that are done over here. Um, one for Instagram. Also, as soon as I get to that, past that 2,000 mark. Because I've already got, um, I know what I'm doing, so each channel, but I, I'm waiting for that mark on that one. But once I get there, then I should have my junk journals already prepared. They will be nature themed. And um, there'll be just Traveler's Notebook inserts. And I will get those, um, have one for each channel. I'll give away one on each channel. Just, you know, for hitting that subscriber amount. Instagram takes such a long time to build up followers on. <laughs> It really does. So, but I thought, you know, I'm getting close, so I'm just going to wait um, for both of those to get to that point. So I think that'll be okay. Figure as long as I'm sitting here talking to you, I might as well at least distress this. But I did want to let you know how things were going and... Um, work a little bit on this and I kind of want to work on the pocket but let's see it's time for me to finish getting ready for work and get off to work today but I did want to at least um, show you how I'm distressing this piece that's going in it'll be fun too to work on the um, this is the outside to work on the Traveler's Notebook ones because I'm, I think those will those will be fun to do as well. And I'm working in a Traveler's Notebook one right now anyway, and it's kind of a B6 size. Um, several of you have already seen me working in this, and um, this one is not uh, nature themed. I mean, there's flowers and butterflies, but it's not like nature. <laughs> not the same way. So um, I'm working in this for May, my May and June. And the ones that I make won't be this thick because it's not two months. So it won't be quite the same. And it'll also be made to fit into a traveler's notebook. Whereas this is, um, as you can see, a very much a standalone type of thing. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. I just wanted to, you know, make a make something that would be. I love the this this Janet Marsh pages are really great. I really like them. And actually, was this from Janet Marsh? No, excuse me. <laughs> All of this is from the one I showed you. That is the. Keeping a Nature Journal. 
by Leslie Roth, I think it is. Yeah, this is not the Janet Marsh one. So, as you can see, it's just got all this cool, like, nature journal stuff. Which really is perfect if I'm doing a nature journal, junk journals. And this one, I just, you know, took pages and cut them in half. And look at this cute little mice. So it's really cute. And I think it just really um, is going to make for cute junk journals. Anyway, I'm going to leave it at that. Um, and then I will keep working on it and keep showing you guys stuff that I'm doing. Uh, maybe I'll come back later and d finish up with this so you can see how this works. Because really, in this... Um, it's not this one. You can use, I mean, in a sense, there's a little bit of a tuck here, so you could kind of tuck something in there if you wanted to, you know. I don't know. But anyway, I'll come back probably and do some more working on these with you guys so you can see um, how it's progressing. But anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little video. Bye.